Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I decided I would share all my nude lipstick collection with you guys. Uh, I have done this in the past. I think I've done one video on just top five nude lipsticks of my collection. So I'm going to try not to re-mention those lipsticks in this video. So whatever I'm mentioning in this video will be apart from those lipsticks. You know, the collection I have apart from those five lipsticks. So I still like those five and I still have them in my collection. And I will link that video down below if you haven't seen it. But uh, today what I'll be sharing with y'all is a different part of my collection. Okay, so I haven't really gone out and purchased different lipsticks or a different set of lipsticks for this particular video. These are the lipsticks of my collection and I use them on a regular basis. Nude lipsticks is what I wear to college every single day. So I think it's very handy for all the brown skin girls who feel uh, they can't rock a nude lipsticks, bare skin without makeup on. So I will give you full insight into the price range, how they feel, the formula and how they look with and without makeup. So I'm going to start uh, from the lowest price range in my collection up till the highest. So let's begin. The first lipstick I have to share with y'all is the Color Bar Velvet Matte Lipstick. Uh, the Velvet Matte Lipsticks retail for Rs. 325 and this is the shade High Tea. Now this is a very very moisturizing lipstick. It's a proper bullet lipstick which most Indian girls are comfortable wearing. Even I'm very comfortable with uh, bullet lipsticks and these are mostly in my bag because they are very easy for touch ups. The formula of this is very moisturizing so if you have dry chapped lips this winter I think this would be your best friend. That's why it's called a velvet matte. These are uh, much much cheaper than their proper matte lipsticks, the color bar lipsticks. Color bar lipsticks are one of my favorites and this color is a very nice chocolate brown, very flattering on Indian dusky to dark to deep skin girls who want to rock a lipstick without any makeup so if you have hyperpigmentation around your lips which is a huge problem for my skin uh, you can rock this lipstick and not worry about it washing you out or looking too weird on your skin color this is a very nice in between nude it's more definitely more on the brown side more chocolate brown side so you the next lipstick is the Nykaa Pain Sticks lipstick this is again another bullet lipstick from Nykaa's range uh, this retails for 425 bucks and uh, this is the number 20. I don't know the shade color. Again, I've used this a lot. This is somewhere on the demi matte finish. So the finish is not totally matte. It's going to be a little moisturizing but not very very dewy as well. So somewhere in between. Uh, very long wearing. The color bar lipstick is not that long wearing. So if you eat something and all, it might fade away but a little tint will remain whereas this Nykaa lipstick is a little more long wearing than the color bar one so this retails for 425 I really like the price range I prefer the uh, color as well this I will describe as a more um, mud brown it's not really a chocolate brown it's a more mud brown and it also looks really really flattering on uh, without makeup skin so again another lipstick you can buy for your everyday office college purpose the next lipstick I have for y'all are two Colourpop lipsticks and I have been using on a regular basis right now are um, the first one is an ultra matte lip this is in the shade lightweight uh, Colourpop lipsticks are amazing they are very very affordable these retail for $6.50 which comes out to be 450 500 rupees in Indian rupees and uh, the ultra matte lips also I feel are very comfortable for my lips my lips are not very dry in the winter they are but I don't feel these chapped they stay on for so so long so I love it when my college hours are like 8 7 to 8 hours I'm out of the house these don't need a touch up I, I have been wearing lightweight every day it's a more mauve pinky nude color it's not very pink it's I will definitely describe this as more mauve nude not very pinky nude and I love it because it lasts so long. It doesn't look like I'm wearing lipstick very evidently. And also does not wash me out on my no makeup days. So of course I'm not wearing a full face glam to college. Uh, so this does not look washed out or white or, or weird on my skin, on my normal skin. That's what the whole purpose of uh, this video is. To share lipsticks that look flattering without makeup on dusky skin girls. So this is one of them, definitely a very very nice color, color pop lightweight. And the next one is a collaboration with Isla Sarahi, ex color pop. 
and this is in the shade softy this is definitely a brown nude i can like hands down it's a brown nude there's no other way to describe it this is another ultra matte lip uh formula is the same it's just a collaboration with karen from uh, youtube also retailing for 650 bucks 6 dollars and 50 cents and around 450 to 500 bucks okay so the next lipstick i'm going to mention is the lakme 9 to 5 primer plus matte lipstick in the shade maple map for somebody who does not enjoy liquid lipstick that much but wants your lipstick to last you could give give, give this formula a try it will last uh, five to six hours and then it's a very very easy lip lipstick to like just put in your purse and then top it off whenever you feel like your lipstick is fading away it's a classic bullet lipstick so very comfortable for a lot of people out there and this color let me just tell you is one of my favorite nude colors for dusky skin it might not look very flattering if you are even a tad deeper than me in skin color because it does wash me also out on some occasions when i'm a slight tanner than what i am right now or uh, it might wash me out as well so i like to put it with a lip liner if i have no makeup on and if i have full face glam then it goes perfectly with any look uh, because it's a rosy nude color a very very pretty lipstick topper as well and the finish is demi matte it's not completely matte so it does transfer slightly not that much as you might expect a lipstick to but does transfer definitely if you're eating and all you can expect this lipstick to transfer in places The next lipstick I want to mention since it's a part of my collection is the Nykaa uh, liquid lipsticks in the shade uh, Madras Kapi. I have done a full fledged video dedicated to this liquid lipstick where I said that you know I like it and you would want to give it a try at least one of them. I don't go ahead to purchase these that much anymore although they keep coming out with shades. One reason one being that they have hiked their price. for a very small amount and for the packaging which was a very very big negative in that video for me uh this do put applicator is really tiny and it's very very uncomfortable to put on your lipstick especially when you're in a hurry uh so the packaging really puts me off and for a very tiny amount you're actually paying uh, 599 which is almost 600 bucks and the other thing is that they don't dry very fast so you definitely have to wait at least 6 to 7 minutes for this lipstick after you put it on to dry completely matte and then move out otherwise it's very watery and i've observed the more i keep this in my wardrobe the more watery they get so they say they are matte li liquid lipsticks and other matte liquid lipsticks dry up like this but this one does not really dry up that soon it takes a good 7 to 8 minutes and who has that kind of time in the morning when you're late for college every single day So uh that's why I don't really prefer this. I have it and I do like to put it on sometimes. It's a good color. Madras Kapi is a good color for uh people who want to put on again lip lipstick without uh makeup. It flatters your skin tone. Overall it's a very nice color and they have a lot of colors to offer which would suit a variety of skin tones. I'm just not a big fan of the formula as I go on using it. But nevertheless I wanted to mention it in the video since I own it and I have done a video on it. So I just wanted to give an update of how I feel. You know that was a first impressions video and a review after a week of using the lipsticks when it was fine and I had mentioned in that video as well that they don't dry easily but when they do they dry for good. But I've noticed that the more I use it, I do. I'm not that patient to wait for it to dry, you know. Okay, the next lipstick uh, I want to mention is the which one is the next? Oh, oh, this this is one of my favorite lipsticks from Lakme. Uh, this is the 9 to 5 Weightless Matte Mousse Lip and Cheek Color. This is in the shade Coco Soft. I have three colors in this range, and I love number one. I love the scent of this lipstick. Oh my god the coco vanilla scent and it, it is a part of every one of their lip lipsticks not just this is because it's called coco soft it comes in with a very very generous amount for the price again this is also 600 rupees the same as the nykaa liquid lip uh this dries i can say it dries matte but it will be moisturizing and not make your lip, uh, lips look very dry not emphasize your cracks and not be it's like a mousse it literally has a very moussey texture it will transfer definitely and the coco soft is one of the darkest brown it's definitely a chocolate coco color not a chocolate color a dark chocolate coco color and a very very dark brown so it will of course flatter you on bare skin 
and it comes for 600 rupees amazing scent amazing formula love this one the next lipstick is one of my absolute favorites it's it was a part of my uh, holy grail makeup products of 2018 it's the NYX lip lingerie in the shade exotic it's amazing i have used it constantly every single day for four months uh, to college in the morning it's so 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 good the color is amazing it's a brick red nude color very flattering bare skin and the formula is too good it's so moussey does not emphasize your um, cracks does not emphasize any of your lip um, what do I call it lip lines or anything goes on so beautifully stays on for entire 8 to 10 hours even on eating because it's a liquid lipstick and a matte one than that it will not transfer but not feel too drying and all of that it's amazing I love 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 this liquid lipstick I can go on and on about it definitely worth the buck because it's 650 bucks and like I said goes on sale on Nykaa a website or the app and you can pick it up that time the next lipstick also is become a current one of my favorites this is the Nykaa Matelicious Crayons in the shade Real Deal the formula I can say is matte will not transfer that much you will not have a problem with it but it's not that long wearing so I can say 4 to 5 hours and then after that it will go away if you're eating and drinking too much but uh, every time I put on a liquid lip I throw this in my purse so that I can top it off uh, during the evening if my lipstick gets too dry very good topper and very good lipstick on its own oh the Nykaa Crayon retails for 699 so it's 700 I don't know why they say 699 you say uh, the next lipstick I have is the Faces Ultime Pro Long Wear Matte Lipstick in the shade Peach Blush. It's the number 5 Peach Blush. Very pretty color. I love this. Won't flatter your skin, bare skin. That's one problem. So you need full face glam for this lipstick or a lip liner on your bare skin days. So I have mentioned before the Faces Lip Liner in uh, Cafe Latte is the only lip liner I own in the nude category and it's amazing for all of these nude lip lipsticks which you feel do not look good on your skin, bare skin just put on that lip liner and put one of these lipsticks on and you'll be good to go this one is a normal your bulletproof lips bulletproof I'm saying your bullet lipstick uh, but you will love the formula because it's so so matte but again does not emphasize your lines does not emphasize any cracks and stays on for really long it is not transferring that much it's like the Nykaa Matelicious Crayon transfers on the same level that's very very little not a problem when you eat at all and will last you a long time so I really prefer this one this sells for 7 .50. now the last two other high-end lipsticks I own in the nude category I just have two high-end lipsticks in the nude category one of them is what's on my lips right now it's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2 and I have mentioned this in my makeup favorites of 2018 so you know it's one of my favorites uh, I love this I love the applicator I love the formula it's one of the best liquid lipstick formulas I have today at this point it retails for $20 so it's around 1450 to 1500 bucks and uh, it's a good amount you know you get a large quantity for that price so I love this liquid lipstick you cannot apply this bare skin that you can be sure of uh, you you need like full face glam because you can see if this color I applied on my bare skin it is washing me out but it's more on a peachy nude it's peachy nude very very pretty I love, love this color and with a lip liner I try to go on with I don't wear this for college because it's very expensive but if I go out I prefer a lip liner with this the next and the last lipstick of this video finally I feel like I'm talking for ages is the MAC lipstick a classic MAC lipstick in the shade taupe uh, this is a classic MAC lipstick it's a bullet lipstick I am not really a very big fan of the MAC lipstick formulas this is in the matte version uh, yeah this is in the matte version and I know MAC, MAC is a classic and it's been there since forever but with the coming out of so many good lipsticks at the drugstore and even at the high end for 1500 rupees I can get better lipsticks which will last longer I really really feel the Smashbox lipsticks are a better one a better luxury or maybe high end lipstick than a MAC lipstick if you want me to do a high end hits and misses video let me know in the comment section and I would love to do that 
But whereas the MAC lipstick is considered, I'm not totally hating on MAC. Definitely not. It's a classic brand. It is very, very uh, color friendly. They very diverse and they co consider each and every skin tone. So I love that. But this lipstick formula, I don't think is worth 1500 rupees. Now I'm very honest on my channel, and I always want you all to get the best product. So that's why I'm saying that. Don't hate on me because I don't like it. I am wearing this right now and I do wear it because I've put in 1500 rupees. I'm going to wear this lipstick. But I don't prefer it that much. If you've not bought it, you don't don't feel like you're missing out in life. Because you're not. Uh, and this color taupe looks good on me without makeup. Yeah, sometimes. When I'm a little tan also, it won't look good on me. But I prefer it with a full face glam. It's not that long lasting also, you know. So it says matte and it's moisturizing sort of matte. But it's not long lasting. If I'm eating and all, it, it'll be sure to be gone by 4 to 5 hours. 3 to 4 hours. So yeah, that's the reason I say it's not worth my 1500 rupees. If I'm paying 1500, I might as well buy a liquid lipstick. Which will last me much much longer. So that was that about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was very honest. I tried to give you all, all the tea of all the nude lipsticks in my collection. What I use, what I don't use, how it will suit you. And if you guys enjoyed, then please don't forget to hit that like button. Follow me on all other social media. I also wanted to mention that I have a new page now. Uh, it's Makeup by Sara Sarosh on Instagram where I post all my makeup looks. Uh, so be sure to follow me there as well if you're not already and uh, I'm also going to take bookings and inquiries if you're from Mumbai you can DM me on that page uh, so yeah that's all the information I wanted to share in this video uh, thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed please make sure you are and I will see you next weekend bye yeah.